Depp, in regards with the court battle with his ex-wife Heard, is not going to be stopping anytime soon, and it makes you wonder if it's ever going to end, such as how Johnny is getting an award in Spain and not everyone is happy about it, which led to some very poor comments from Depp. We'll break it all down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number four, the recording. A press conference at San Sebastian to mark Depp's controversial honorary Denosio Award was interrupted after an undisclosed source played a recording of the actor's ex-wife, Heard. The recording was a statement Heard made outside the High Court in London in July 2020, during a libel case brought by Depp against UK newspaper The Sun, in which the court found the tabloids claimed that Depp was an a beer to be substantially true. It has been incredibly painful to relive the breakup of my relationship, to have my motives, my truth questioned, and the most traumatic and intimate details of my life with Johnny shared in court and broadcast to the entire world, said the recording. Now on to Johnny Depp, who is speaking out about cancel culture and saying that no one is safe from the movement. Yeah, so head of receiving the Donastea, sure. can I say that? A very interesting thing to play. And obviously this was played by someone who had a connection with her, or at the very least was someone who believes her side of the story in regards to what happened between the two during their marriage. In spite of the interruption, the conference continued, although it was not without incident. The session moderator blocked a question from Spain's Association of Female Filmmakers asking how he felt about their objection to the honor and did not allow any further mention of the subject, although Depp did address cancel culture. And did he say some things about that? Number 3. His Thoughts on Cancel Culture Cancel culture is absolutely something that has been on the minds of many over the last few years about how much good it actually does. An event in history that lasted for however long it lasted for. And Johnny was more than happy to share his thoughts on the subject. It's a very complex situation, this cancel culture, or this instant rush to judge basement on essentially what amounts to polluted air, said the actor, who was due to collect the Donostia Award later on and was also honored recently at Karlovy Vary. It's got so far out of hand that I can assure you no one is safe, not one of you. So long as someone is willing to say one thing, it takes one sentence, then there's no more ground the carpet has been pulled. It's not just me it's happened to. It's happened to a lot of people, women, men, children have suffered from various types of unpleasantries that sadly at a certain point they begin to think it's normal. It's them. It's not. Um, this cancel culture or this instant ru rush to judgment um, based on essentially. I believe that no one is safe. If you're armed with the truth that's all you need. It doesn't matter if a judgment per se has taken some artistic license. When there's an injustice, whether it's you or someone you love or someone you believe in, stand up. Don't sit down, they need you. As you can see, he's very passionate about this, for better or for worse. But was he right about it? That depends on what viewpoint you see here. Number 2. The Problem With Dismissing Cancel Culture Cancel culture as a term is actually a misnomer about what it actually is and who is behind it because at its core this is just people asking for accountability from those who have done wrong and refuse to own up to it. Not one of you, not one of you, not anyone out that door, no one is safe as long as someone is willing. Many of you out there can think of people like that, I'm sure. When it happens and it's successful, it's easy to cheer for justice being done. But then you look at times when people get called out for wrongdoing, refuse to admit it, and then have their high-profile friends go and back them up, and then suddenly it becomes evil to be a part of cancel culture. For proof of this, look at the story of Ellen DeGeneres, who went from the most beloved host on daytime TV to someone who was exposed for being a very mean person, and people wanted her head for it. And rightfully so if you know some of the stories that came out. But then the antithesis to cancel culture came forth via the friend support, and no one perfectly spelled this out better than Kevin Hart who proved just how terrible this can get by painting those who want accountability as hateful people. It's crazy to see my friend go through what she's going through publicly. I've known Ellen for years and I can honestly say that she's one of the dopest people on the effing planet. She has treated my family and my team with love and respect from day one. 
the internet has become a crazy world of negativity. We're falling in love with people's downfall. It's honestly sad. When did we get here? I stand by the ones that I know and that I love, looking forward to the future where we get back to loving one another. There's no more ground. Uh, earlier this year, female filmmakers and other groups criticized the organizer's decision to distinguish Johnny with the Dunnest. This hate has to stop. Hopefully it goes out of style soon. This post is not meant to disregard the feelings of others and their experiences. It's simply to show what my experiences have been with my friend. Hopefully after hearing that, you know why this is such a problem. Because like many before and after him, he focuses on what happened with him and his people versus what has happened to others. He believes that because his people were taken care of by Ellen, that she couldn't possibly be the terrible person that others say she is. That kind of blind loyalty is what the real problem is. They refuse to accept what is in front of them, and as a result, people get let off instead of taking their medicine and punishment for what they've done. So Depp's warning against cancel culture is yet another mark against people who are just trying to hold people responsible for their own actions. They may not get it right all the time, but you can't bash them when they put someone away for wrongdoing. Number 1. His Thoughts on Hollywood and Cinema Depp was also critical of Hollywood's current output. At this moment, after being in the racket for 30 plus years now and experiencing various things, learning the game of Hollywood just so you don't have to play it, Hollywood is certainly not what it was. That it tarnished the event's image and delivered the wrong message to victims of gender violence. Yeah, and late last year, Johnny lost his libel case against UK tabloid The Sun after they branded him as a wife beater. The grudge matches the pandemonium and chaos of cinematic release to streaming. It is a case of no matter what, I'm going to get mine. That's where these people are coming from. They realize they're just as disposable as I am, some more. How much more of a formula do we need from studios? How much more do we need to condescend? I've said this for a long time. Hollywood has grotesquely underestimated the audience. He was also skeptical of the future of cinemas in the wake of the pandemic. It put people in their houses with their families for long periods of time with the television, and they could watch virtually any movie they wanted. The majority of the world went, you know, this ain't bad. We can sit and watch this thing at home. We can cook some popcorn. As opposed to the idea of a guy who makes $700 a week and wants to take his wife and kids out to dinner in a movie on the weekend, which is a $200 deal. I think the Hollywood movie machine has a few design flaws they're just realizing. Been such great support and, and uh, who have been there um, for a long, long time. I thank you. I'm glad I saw it coming personally. He's not wrong about that one. The pandemic absolutely put movie theaters and cinemas as a whole in a bind. Even now with things slightly lightening up, they wonder if they'll be able to last because things still aren't at full power like many hoped they would be. And as for the pandemonium from studios to try and one up another and dumb down movies. And there you have it everyone, a look at what happened with Depp at a recent awards ceremony and how it might just affect things going forward. Do you think the Depp is right about Hollywood and cancel culture? Do you think his personal experiences are blinding him from the truth of what's going on in the world? What do you think will happen between him and her next? Let us know in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.